All right, I haven't done a waffle in a while, so I'm looking at one of those today. Uh, if you're not familiar with waffle, um, this is kind of like Wordle on a grid, but we already have all the letters and we're gonna swap them. We're gonna click and drag around and swap the letters to try and find all of the words. And the coloring works just like normal Wordle. There is a little bit of a weird thing at the corners here where uh, like this M, it's yellow, which means there's an M in either the row or the column or both. Um, so the, the intersection points are a little bit uh, ambiguous there. Uh, I'm looking at the deluxe waffle, by the way. There is a normal daily waffle where it's only five letter words. Uh, I'm looking at the deluxe waffle that's seven letter words. Um, and the only other thing that you need to know is uh, the, on the screen here, I'm going to be putting some letters to kind of uh, show you what I'm thinking, but those are not appearing on the actual site here. That's just something I add in editing after the fact, so if I forget what I was thinking and it's written right there, it's because you can see it and I can't, so <laughs> I'm doing it all in my head, just so you know. Uh, and that's about it. So, oh, we do have 25 swaps, as you can see right above me. We have 25 swaps. Uh, I, the optimal is to have five swaps remaining at the end, so using 20 swaps, and that's it. So, and this happens to be deluxe waffle number 25. We're gonna try and do 25 in, well, in 20 swaps, I guess, but anyways. All right, so the middle here seems to be the best. We've got lots of greens. There is an E in this word. This one has a lot already, so, Regatta? Could that be a regatta? That could be, that could be good. I believe that's spelled R-E and then a double T. But I'm actually not confident on the spelling of that one. This is probably illness. I'm thinking I-L-L-N-E-S-S. -S. Now, how many, do we only have the one S? I think we only have the one S. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and swap that over. Okay, there we go. Now we have several L's, so I'm not gonna do the L yet because I could move an L, and it doesn't matter which L goes there, but as far as minimizing the swaps, you don't want to uh, do it too early because you might, you, this N might end up needing to go there or there or down here, you know, so you can limit the number of swaps that way. Okay, so I'm thinking illness, regatta, ooh, is regatta? Yeah, it's gotta be with an E because we have an I. I was just thinking, is it with an I? I'm trying to picture the word in my head. Um, but it can't be I because we have the white eye here. So let's do the across ones here. This is ooh, interesting. So no more E's, obviously. So between the P and the T's got to be a vowel. So we could do an I. We could do what vowels do we have available? We have an A. We have an I. We have some E's. But there's no O. There's no U. There's no Y. So all we have is A and I is interesting. So this has to be an A or an I here. Petite. No, petite doesn't quite work. Plus that's P-E anyways. Patient? P-A-T-I-E-N-T. -E Do we have, we have an N down here. We have a couple of N's. Could be patient. I'm thinking patient. So P-A- T-I. But we have to be patient and wait before we start swapping things around because there's Three I's and a couple of N's, and ooh, there's only the one A though. So I'm tempted to move that, but let's look at this next word first. Uh, so there is an E, it's gonna be A E G feels less likely than G E L. So A something ang angelic, angelic. Okay, so N G E L I C. So that's, uh, no, there's three I's. I was gonna say that's our two eyes, patient and angelic, but there's three eyes. But I'm gonna go ahead and move the A um, because I think that's where it is. Yep, good, okay. And so that's gonna help us because now we have no uh, A's. All we have is I's and E's for vowels around the outside. And angelic, yeah, so there's an I going here. There's an I going here, so we only have one I and the E's, and of course our green letter, right? We've got a couple of green A's and a green I and stuff, but for vowels around the outside, we've only really got E's and one I. And there is an I in either the row or the column here, which means we can't put any I's in the first row, and, or the first column and last row. So that's interesting, ooh, an X. So, I mean, having the X and the E here makes me think E-X-C. 
EXC excited. EXC, we do have an I. E, and there's there's a yellow D over here. Okay, I'm thinking excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the X, the only X we have. Good, excited. And now, since we wanna have an E at the beginning and an I down here, we can swap this E and I. Good, good. Now this is gonna be E, D. We only have the one D. Let's move the D there. Okay, so now this almost has to be an E as well, I think. Because, yeah, because we've used up our one I. So we have no I's around the outside. We have no A's, all we have is E's. Between the S and the D's, it almost has to be a vowel. It's gotta be an E. So this is something E-D. We do have an L, it could be first or second. If it was second, uh, what would that be? We could do something like P-L, pleased, but it would have to be E-A instead of A-E. This could be an, between the A and the S, we could we can't do an N. We just don't really have very many options. What do we have? We have, we could do an, a T potentially. But if it's S-E-D... Oh, we have a U! There's a U! I completely missed the U. There is a U. So... Uh, A-U wouldn't be terrible. A-U-S-E-D something Oz. We need to have an L. Mm, yeah, I don't, I don't really like that. All right, let's come back to that word. Let's let's go up here at the top. We've got an M. Oh, the M could be in the column or the row, but we have a T. I like I-T-E, but I-M-E is pretty good too. If it's I-T-E, what's gonna come right there after the R? Night, something night. Bite. Pite. Oh, you know what we could do though, is, so we're thinking angelic, so this is an E, illness, so this is an uh, L, and down here patient, so this is an N, so we've got E, L, N, and those are E, L, and N, so we can do a little three-way swap. So the L is going to go up here, and then the N and the E will swap. Okay, good. So that's just, just the more greens we get, the easier it is to kind of see what's in the grid. Um, especially for me since I don't have the words on top like you guys have over there in the edit. So this is now an I This needs to be a T. This is an N This is an E. Yeah, this is this is an I. Oh, uh, oh um. So both of the where the eyes need to go are both E's now So is there any benefit to waiting to move the eyes in there? Because no matter what, you're swapping an I with an E. You know, some if, if this was a T here and the other one was an E, you wouldn't know whether to move the I with the E or the I with the T. But no matter what, when we move the eyes in here, it's moving E's out to those spots. So I think I could just swap both of them. I could be wrong on that, but I think that's not going to cause us any trouble in our swaps at the end so it could have been a mistake but again more greens just makes it there's less noise and clutter so you can kind of see things a little bit better so where's this B gonna go we know this is an E over here we're pretty sure this is an E over here uh, the B can't be in this first column so it's got to be either one of these three up here or one of these three down here and if it's S-E-D, I don't think it's A-B-S-E-D. Now, it could be B-A, but then the L would have to, it'd have to be L-B, and that's not going to work. So I don't think the B is down here. I think the B is in this first row. So it could be where the T is here. Something B-I-M-E or B-I-T-E, maybe? But... Okay, there's got to be a vowel up through here. One of those first two has to be a vowel. Almost for sure. Before the R here. And it can't be an E. But we don't have any other vowels. Except for E's. And the U. We do have the one U. But we don't have any other vowels besides the E's and a U. So I think there has to be a U 
up here and it can't be first. I think this is gonna have to be a U. Something you are turb turbi turbine 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 T U R B I N E I think so. Okay, I'm gonna move the U and the B. Okay, good. Okay, so the T is gonna be up here. Now we have a few T's, so I don't know if I wanna do that yet, because I don't know where the M goes. The M is in this first column though, because it's not in that first row. So, so if this starts with a T, it's not gonna be T-M-A, obviously. It could be T-E-A, team, team, temp, no, T-E-A, T-E-A-M-P, team, Oh, but what's... Okay, but interesting. So here's the problem, though. After the P, after the P, we've got two more letters. And if we put an E up here, T-E-A, we, we only have one E in the column because we've got a yellow and a white. So... But if we do... Trample. Trample, it's T-R-A, so we don't put an E up there. T-R-A-M-P-L-E. I think that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be trample. So, uh, we need, well the M goes down here, we know that. Okay, so, this needs to be T-R and E down here. Right, T-R-E, we have E, T, and R. We can do another three-way swap there. Good, good, so that's gonna be trample, so there's gonna be E here. Now we only have, oh, we have two L's left. We haven't figured out what this is yet. There's an N up there. This, oh, but this, we think this starts with, this is an E, and that's an N, so we'll swap those two. Good, the other N goes up here for angelic. Uh, this is an L, this is an E, so we'll swap those two. And I'm excited to get those, and then this has to be the E, and, this is elapsed, elapsed. Okay, so we just gotta do like a four-way swap here, so. Uh, we'll put the P there. We'll put the L there. And then we'll swap the T and the E, and we did it with five swaps remaining. Perfect score. Heavens to Betsy. <laughs> I like the expressions they have on here. Perfect game. All right, and then this game actually has the definitions for all the words, so. If you're not familiar with any of these words, it's got all the definitions right below the puzzle once you solve it. So, regatta, that is how it's spelled. It looks right now that I see it, but trying to picture a word in your head sometimes, especially a word you just don't see that often, um, it's sometimes hard to, to know for sure what it looks like until you actually see it, so. Anyways, there you go. All right, not too bad. I felt like that one went pretty, pretty quick for a deluxe waffle. So uh, if you did this deluxe waffle, let me know how it went for you and be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Asking if a word is a homophone or a homograph is like asking if a color is blue or dark. Okay, okay, so that's where the R is. Uh, so the C and the H and the Y are no good, so there's gotta be an O. Oh, wondered, wondered. Okay, so we can do, ooh, ooh, we have peaking. It could be speaking, actually.